This is Edgewater, Saskatchewan by South Sask Modding and BC Beulah Farms. It is 254.85 megabytes to download. And it says, welcome to the Edgewater, Saskatchewan map, showcasing some of the unique aspects of farming in Saskatchewan, Canada. Working around sloughs, is that? Ditches and trees are a day-to-day -day task on the map. Ditching may be an investment for your farm, which will allow you to open up the fields and expand your acres. Snow is no joke, so be careful. Roads are slick. Don't get stuck. There's seven farms to choose from, one being a cow farm, 53 fields with unique field shapes, over 10 cell points, three new crops, flax, lentil, lentils, sorry, and peas, swappable crops, wheat, barley, oats, flax, and canola, says requires a pickup header pack to harvest and provides a 20% yield bonus over standard harvest techniques. Custom co-op used to purchase seeds, fertilizer, herbicides and lime. Custom train and traffic vehicles. Custom water source with three locations around the map. Flax bales and custom TMR mixture. Grain can be used in the feed mixture. Custom precision farming map and custom crop calendar and weather. Tons of snow falls during winter. So be warned. Sounds pretty awesome. So let's go and check it out. And here we are, this is where you start off in all three modes, facing this bush. Now first of all, don't be alarmed with the amount of money we've got top right. I've already added in some in preparation, because there is a few plots of land we need to buy for things to show up. So I am in new farmer mode, and in new farmer mode, normally you would start off with 100,000 as normal. So that top right is just because I've added in some money. Right, this is the map, guys. As you can see, it looks very, very colourful. Now, you can obviously see quite a bit of red. That doesn't mean those fields need ploughing, because if we go over to our crop types menu on the right-hand side and scroll across, there is the three new crops we've got, flax, peas and lentils. Now, they all are growing on the map, which is awesome. So if I do that, you can see what's growing and whatnot so pretty cool we are actually up here so this is your starting farm in new farmer mode and in new farmer mode we we'll start off with that so we start off with these two plots so it is technically the farm area and this field here which is a decent size so the value of those 243,000 just over for the farm area and for the field 275 grand just over so the field prices, they're going to be a little bit up there, and so are the farms as well. But, you know, you would expect that in real life. So in terms of field prices, we will just have a quick look at a few. Up here, 426,000. We've got some smaller ones, 31,000. So very, very diverse with the prices. 56 grand. 421 now there is a kind of not edge of the map but there's a you know area you can buy it takes in all the main roads plus all like where the main sort of sell points are and that that is 1.2 million just over so you can buy that you can pretty much buy the whole map if i'm honest now that plot that i've just clicked on that number is there for that so if you're wondering why there's two numbers there for that number one is for this plot here like so and 13 which is there is these two little areas like so just shy of 12 grand so you know there's plenty of opportunity to buy smaller fields build yourself up and if you come on in new farmer mode you've already got a decent sized field as it is some of the plots have got trees a little bit of forestry here and there which is nice now the buyable plots we will do in a second i think we'll get everything out of the way and then we'll buy those up together because we will visit them as we go around the map so first of all let's do mods so if we scroll into this menu along to here we do have some that are part of you know the map these are the required mods which i forgot to mention actually in my intro i normally do they are both by bc beulah farms 
Crop Inputs Cooperative and the Pickup Header Pack. These guys are buildings. Now it is showing two IBCs there, one herbicide, one liquid fertilizer, because you can buy these from the shop if you want to as normal. There's nothing different about them. They still hold the same amount as the standard base game ones and same price as well. And then there's this guy, the pickup header. Now, if I'm completely honest, I couldn't get this to work. I probably was doing something wrong. But obviously where this is a separate mod and I think it actually came out today, the same day as this map, it um, had me baffled a little bit and I didn't want to waste too much time going on it. So... I highly recommend checking out either Mr. CDP or Looney Farm Guy because they will do a thorough examination of this. But if you look over to the crop type icons there, we do have grass and then we have four normal straw types and then one darker brown type. Now I'm guessing the four lighter ones are for your... Uh, what did it say in the description? I'm going to get my phone out. Wheat, barley, oats and canola. And the darker colour straw is for your flax. So that is definitely flax straw. So I did try it. I harvested a flax field. It left a straw swath. I grabbed this, tried it. I just could not get it to work. So apologies for that, guys. And if someone has got it to work, knows how it works properly, please educate me <laughs> that would be fantastic so there's there's yeah there is those guys um in there let's go up to build mode and i will show you let's go uh where's a field there we go let's go over here i'm not going to show you every single model but there is a few modded in things so in sheds we've got some sheds for part of the map you will see all of these guys as we go around so I won't go into too much detail. There is quite a few silos as well. Again, these are all on the map. You will see these. There's some big ones. We've got some grain bins like so. You can just about see the tip in and out. Great. Um, what else do we have in containers? Now, this is quite interesting. Uh, no, it's not. It's not this one. Sorry. <laughs> in here, we have a community well. You can place these down and get water from them. There is three on the map. We will check a couple of those out as well. Again, I won't show you all of them. One of them I don't think we will pass. Uh, this is what I was saying is quite interesting. In tools, we do have these three buildings, which is one of the required mods. This is the crop inputs. Now, two of them kind of work like a production we'll take a little bit of a better look at them when we get down to them and again some of you guys will probably have used this because this is a separate mod i've not used it this is my first experience of it um yeah so same tip in liquid fertilizer herbicide out liquid fertilizer and herbicide so again we will look at them there's a fertilizer shed this one it doesn't seem like you can buy and use as a production that is purely just for buying um solid fertilizer and lime and then it is a sh yeah, seed shed as well again seeds in seeds out but like i say we will look at them when we get to them farmhouses we've got a cool little deck chair which we can use and then there's this guy which is basically the same as this fella but the usa flag has been removed because we are in canada happy days in pro Productions and factories there is these guys I can't really see any difference with the grain mill I don't know if it produces a little bit quicker or not but that is there as a mod the spinnery however is a different matter because if we look over to the far right we've got our usual wool and cotton symbol but that flax straw is there as well so you can put uh, flax straw into this and produce fabric which is cool again when we get to the spinnery we will buy it that's why i've added in a lot of money and i think that is it for the mods there's no animal pens or anything like that modded in so if we go across to landscaping and painting this is all pretty standard we've got animal mud asphalt dirt forest ground grass and gravel that is it no modded in trees or plants so there we go i'm just going to get away from that bush so you can see the farm a little bit so that's all the mods pretty straightforward 
let's do the slot counts and then we'll buy up those plots of land and get cracking i think so in new farmer mode if we go up to our garage it is 1234 slots you do start off with a decent amount of equipment Got two medium tractors a john deere 4755 massey ferguson 3670 large tractors we've got the russell mash 2375 which is a nice tractor we've got a max superliner truck nice new holland harvester 1986 lizard pickup load king trailer for your truck obviously harvester header now if you look down at the crop types as well you can harvest your three new crops with this header so you use a normal header for those we've got a disc harrow a cedar and again if you look at the crop icons we can plant all of those three new crops with a cedar so just a cedar not a planter we've got a sprayer we've got a front loader and we've got a couple of attachments a pallet fork and a bucket and then we've got some augers because we're going to need those for our grain bins we have three i think on our farm but there is a few more dotted around now if you don't want any of that equipment you can sell all of it off get that slot count down to 1075 you can get it down even further because you can sell off everything at our farm but that only gets it down to 1025 so only 50 slots reduced but obviously if you do own some of the other farms you can sell the silos and things like that i will talk about those farms when we get to one or the first one so you can see what's going on um right those plots of land let's do this guys so i've written them down on my sheet so we know where we are so plot 30 is one of them that's 517,000 just over so like i say pretty pricey that has just got a grain bin on there plot 7 90,000 and a half that has got a couple of fat flat bins in there um eight was another one sorry i didn't tell you how much that was 141 grand again some flat bins on there which we'll see and 22 was one again i didn't tell you the price 583 grand so these ones are quite pricey they are big plots of land though and they do have the big silos in now the little cute plot here 33 just over 31 grand but if you want a bit of extra storage we've got some more of these guys down here which again we will look at all of these don't panic we will do it um where are we now uh 11 again another small no it's not actually look at that it is small but i was going to say cheap 436 grand but if we buy that that is one of those big silos if you want 27 295 and a half grand that has got a couple of flat bins on there and then i think the last one to buy i'll just check is this guy which is 51 plot 51 368,000, and that is the cow farm so again we will visit that so that should be it guys in terms of buying um i just check my notes 730 33 one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six two four <laughs> two four six eight yes oh dear it's been a long day right let's get moving so our farm is here sleep trigger on the porch as you can see there's no wardrobe function but you can change that from your shop menu we do have one of these barns corn set is a corn set uh, you will need to open those separately all of our tractors are in here plus cedars sprayers things like that which is pretty awesome and if we run around this side hiding behind the trees we've got a little shed here open shed so all the sheds you can sell off farmhouse silos decoration you can't so and that goes for some of the other farms 
we can go in all these doors we've got a little office we've got something going on there we've got a little bathroom with a shower we can go through this door into our sort of area now that's a bit that's round the other way isn't it that could be fun trying to get that we've got some more equipment in here guys like so this door we can open pick up in there and i will go out this way now these doors on this shed you cannot open from the outside like so so we need to go in there's a little button there really cool animation the way they fold up and over and again just here like so and there is lights here as well i think it was about where was it i'm sure it was around here oh there is lights in here anyway <laughs> there you go uh right these are our augers as you can see our flat bottom bins we've got a larger one and two smaller ones in fact i'll quickly show you some of the capacities because I didn't really go into detail. So these big guys are 1.5 million. Now I haven't tested any of the other farm silos. But these ones here on our farm aren't multi-fruit. But they will take those extra crops. All three of them. So standard crop type plus those three new crops. Which is cool. So we've got two of these guys. These are 130,000 litres. This guy here, the larger one, 160,000 litres and this fella is 1.3 million liters and so is that one so happy days and that guys is pretty much it that's our farm uh, this is our field out the back so as you can see that is flax that is what it looks like ready to harvest in fact something to, uh, to note quite interesting if we i forgot to show you this actually you know i will come back to that we've got a custom crop calendar as you can see so a couple of planting windows for wheat and as you can see everything else is custom but down at the bottom we've got the free crop types when you can plant and harvest but that flax shouldn't be harvested until September but we can harvest this so just something to point out there right let's do this because I forgot this I'm all over the place today there is no collectibles on here we don't start off with any productions there is contracts available on other fields pretty good prices no animals it is showing a cow barn there because obviously we did buy that plot of land but normally you wouldn't have anything showing in there and then that's all pretty standard prices menu scroll all the way down at the bottom you're going to see those three crop types there plus the flax straw which obviously you can bow or you can do loose which is awesome and there you go i think that's pretty much it um, another thing I've just thought of, if I go into this menu, I'll quickly show you. There's the headers, look, as you can see, we've got the three crop types down there. Corn headers don't show anything, but interestingly enough, if we go into forage harvester headers, now these guys are pickups. They are showing the four normal straw and the flax straw as well. And if we go into these guys, it's showing two of the new crop types and the same for these so i'm guessing we can do something with them again i haven't tested it so apologies for that um, all the trailers if we watch it scroll across they are showing all three plus the straw flax straw awesome and then quickly show you in cedars just so you know that i'm not lying <laughs> each cedar has got the three there nothing in the planters so awesome i think that is it. These should so show flax straw as well, which they do. Happy days. Right, that is it. We are going for it. Um, can I just tab? I can. We'll jump in the pickup because we've got quite a bit to get round. Um, we will do a kind of clockwise route round, I think. So we'll head on out. You don't seem to get any traffic on these sort of dirt tracks, gravel tracks. But when you get to these roads, which I absolutely love, look at the 
bumpiness of them. I absolutely love these roads. Awesome. And coming up is the first of one of those community wells. This is where you pull up and just grab water from. They are pretty cool looking. And then we need to turn left, but absolutely huge, huge area. We need to whiz down here. So you see all silos and sheds over there. We will get to that one, but that is not the one we're heading to just yet. Because we do have one here. This is one of the farms. So most of them, I think, apart from one, which is up the top, I think that's going to be the last farm we visit, do have decorative houses on. So you can't go in them. There's no sleep trigger, obviously. But if you want to start here, chuck a doormat down, or even that deck chair or anything like that, any of the mods and then you're good to go which is nice and because we've bought this plot of land we can go into this shed i don't think this one's got lights there's none showing up there i couldn't find a light switch but it is a drive through we've got some of those bins here like on our farm and that is pretty much it for this farm so that is the first of those we need to go out the same way we came in some really really cool fields I guess a, a, a lot of people probably won't like these sort of ditches running through the fields but I think it's pretty cool uh, we've got another farm here again as you can see decorative farmhouse I'm not going to stop and show you all the sheds some more bins same shed as we've just looked at and it's got one of these guys here but what i love about some of these farms is there's so much room to add things so you've got all this room here you've got a bit in the middle there so there's plenty of potential to you know buy a plot like this and build yourself up and you can see for miles so plenty to look at when you're driving around so off the beaten track or not off the beaten track on the beaten track i should say <laughs> off the main road and this is the farm we could see just a second ago over a cool little bridge again we've got a little house there that's a smaller one and we've got a shed this is slightly different i will show you this one This one does have lights up there and it is just here by this door. There we go. And we can go in and out all these doors and there's one on the side here. Um, jump back in the pickup and we'll drive through. This is one of the big grain silos. So tip in there and pipe out by the look of it. Again, I haven't tested it got another barn there and those are just decorative barns in the center and just over through there is another one of those community wells where we can grab some more water from a little bit of water there as you can see lovely lovely scenery and then this is that little plot 33 i think it was where you can just grab some extra silo capacity if you want and then heading out of there I'll probably see you back up the main road actually because it's a little bit of a drive so back on to the main road on the right hand side we've got another huge silo which obviously we can buy I won't go in there but that is it so you've got plenty of options for silos if you don't want to be buying one of the other farms you can just grab one of them there's the train there is actually custom writing on the carriages as you can see canada Sask saskatchewan i knew i was gonna have trouble saying that <laughs> in here fresh produce this is our first sale point and this is brenda's fresh 
produce so thank you very much Brenda for allowing us to sell our products here that is there we will do a quick recap where we've been that helps me then so we started up here at our main farm we came out along the main road that was the water well all the way along into that first farm back out another farm there down into this big farm across there another water well and then just in there for those silos i came back out brought you back in another large silo there across obviously that is where the train runs across the map so not a huge part of the map it doesn't take up this is brenda's and then we're going to head on round this way like so we do have a rent a train point just there on the right and if we go in through here we've got another cell point and this was what is this called larry's bell shipping so this is a point where you can sell your bells plus i think sugar beet cut then we can drive out this way I think I'm just trying to remember which way I'm supposed to be going I'm going to take a risk and then we've got quite a big sale point in here so it's a bit like your grain elevator but this is grain west so up into here that's where you tip in and sell we will go back this way and up into here another rent a train point just there this one does have a crossing obviously it'd be in a main road and if we drive in through here we've got our stop there railroad silo so this is your road access so tip in pipe out and then if i run through here hoping the train doesn't appear train access unload load up just there happy days and just to the right of that is this icon because in underneath here is another sale point and this is edge water grain so it's going to be like a main sort of sale point and then heading out of here we've got a few things going on this is the grain mill so tip in there usual sort of setup like i say these are all sort of standard productions we've got our dairy tucked in the corner here another rent a train point just there and then we've got our bakery which is just here and now we head into those three modded in buildings for the seeds etc like that so I'll drive in here through and jump out now if you want to just use this for buying seeds only technically it is just that anyway just there pipe there there is a forklift here which we can use which is nice it can be reset to the shop as well so if you want to do that I don't know why I've got a woolly hat on but I have and we can like I say buy this as a production they are pretty cheap 20 grand and if I buy that I'll show you if you watch the numbers they are counting up and again I haven't used this mod but to me it just looks like it's just adding that for you so you still will end up buying it but what it's going to do eventually when it's got enough to produce a pallet just roughly over here in this corner it produces those i think it's pro boxes they call them is it but like the big plastic tubs of seeds that you can pick up with forklift etc so that would produce those there those are just decorative and we will drive over here so it's just kind of simulating that you're coming to a place i think to buy these sort of products instead of just pulling up a trailer and you know clicking a button and off you go so it's pretty i suppose it is pretty cool but anyway just in here this is where we can buy 
lime and solid fertilizer this one we cannot buy so this is purely a buy point but over here we have the chemical shed this is for your liquid fertilizer and herbicide which you can just buy if you want as normal from this point but again we can buy it this is only 10 grand this one and again it does exactly the same so the numbers will go up like so and eventually when it gets to a point that it's made a pallet i think they spawn around the front here which is nice now also on the map is this guy if i show you it is there and it's showing there like the forklift but this one baffled me if we jump into the pickup i thought that's pretty cool because we don't start off with a fertilizer spreader we've got one here we can borrow now obviously if you wanted to be cheeky you don't even have to bring it back but it works as normal we hook it up it tells us what it is we can open the cover but here is an issue now at first i thought maybe it's because i haven't bought it but you can't buy this one but we've got our fill start filling thing yes we can choose lime or fertilizer because this will take both but when you click on one it just does that so it won't fill it up i don't know what that's about so it's a little bit of a shame i thought we were going to be able to be a bit cheeky there and grab a fertilizer spreader sort of on the cheap well for free technically isn't it but anyway there we go right we've got a sawmill just in here so again usual sort of setup sell your wood pallets will appear there and round the back we do have a wood chip out point very nice indeed plenty of houses dotted around with custom vehicles as it says look at the size of this guy <laughs> mad i think there is some of them driving around actually right in here we have the red marble bowling restaurant sell point so some of it's a little bit like elm creek so tipping round the back there's another one of those huge trucks and if we go back out this way and in here we've got our shop area so we've got a workshop trigger at the back if you park just in front of these doors it will register what you've got and then your shop icon there your reset point just roughly where i am now like so and then if we go across the road and then i will do another recap whoa that was close we've got our animal dealer just here now that will show up look we've got the cow barn so there you go that holds 120 cows just in case i forget later around the back we've got another sale point for your bells which is just there and that is called livestock bell auction so let's do a quick recap so we kind of come down here we went into brenda's across here through larry's bell shipping area up into this grain west through there into the railroad area did the productions did all these modded in buildings cross up to the sawmill the bowling restaurant out shop animal dealer done we're now going to visit the cow farm and then go all the way up do this bit or we'll cut across check out those two farms and that is job done but this is a pretty cool map i really do like it very very nice very well done this lighting's all great the textures it's got some really cool features i like the new crops that have been added in that's a nice touch like i say apologies for not being able to work out that swather or whatever it's called pick up header so if someone does suss it out please let me know in the comments so the cow farm another little house we've got We've got some grain bins we've got one of those sheds which is open both ends which is cool we will stop here and this is our cow barn now I did have a little bit of an issue with this which i'll talk about again it could be me doing something wrong 
there's our dialogue box 120 cows pretty awesome little building straw trigger i found in here and it fills up in there with straw which is nice can drive through into here we do have our feed trough there now it is a barn so it is going to be automatic water but there is a water trough there just to sort of simulate there's some there out the back we do have a milk collection point now if you put a cow in here it comes up with milk slurry straw etc i skipped forward time um didn't get any slurry so i thought right obviously we need to put down a slurry tank put one of those down first of all i put one down here skip through nothing deleted that put one down here nothing a manure pit i put just in here that produced manure so i don't know what's going on with the slurry whether you do get slurry from them or not but i couldn't seem to get any so thought i'd tell you that <laughs> i do try and test a few things but if it's too much and it's too complicated um i'll leave it to you guys <laughs> i know that sounds bad anyway back onto this row this is awesome look at it foot flat to the floor no but seriously i do go through and i try and test as much as i can um like i say it's not always me doing things right so if i am doing anything wrong i love for you guys to tell me because i'm not gonna ever get through every single mod on fs22 you know I've, I've not even got through every single map i don't do map tours but where i've been on holiday or things like that you know anyway a bit of sort of road works going on here got some decorative sort of um there's a toy shop there yeah them things i'm talking about residential houses as well across a cool little bridge and then in here we do have another sort of grain elevator which is just here oh where are we on my list we've done so much this is northern mill cell point so again uh, main sort of cell point and then across the main road that is the edge of the map off there i love the way they've done it they disappear up around the side we've got our farmers market sale points so two there one for your grain types and one for your pallets of produce and this is the spinnery which you can buy from there which we will do tip in there and your pallets just there i will buy it just to show you so it should be the same price yeah 60 grand and if we go into there got the two usual ones plus the fabric flax straw so i like they've done that option it does have the same ratio as cotton so that's pretty cool and obviously we are now up here and like i say we're just going to whiz across and do these two farms now and that should be us done so back out onto one of these main roads Oh, we do have a couple of things here actually we've got a fast food restaurant sell point just there and then in there which you probably saw just a second ago is our fuel station fire station is there laundromat oh just up into here as well we've got the debris crusher selling your stones we'll cut across the grass again edge of the map straight in front of us but i like the way the road bends round out of view i like it when maps have that just gives you the feeling that it's actually going somewhere so some pretty cool areas up here oh get out of the way dear I mean look at that view out there that is where we are heading over there to the big grain silo
I think this is going to be quite a popular map though is it going to take over as the best American map I don't know that's up to you guys this house here is part of that plot of land so again you've got a farmhouse to choose from if you want we do have a large silo again one of those sheds which is pretty cool one of the concept um, sheds probably said that wrong I probably said Saskatchewan wrong as well oh and I have just missed my turning apologies there we go got quite a long drive up to this one which is quite nice this one doesn't have a farmhouse it does have a decorative building but it's more like a big garage isn't it but there is three bins there and that guys oh and a little hut over there shed not little it's quite big actually there you go that is it guys so we kind of went all round like this ba -ba -bam. out the cow farm up all the way into here through there spinnery etc across there did those two that is the map apologies if i've missed something and again like i said for not being able to work that thing properly <laughs> i'm not an expert i try my best but that is edgewater saskatchewan by south sask modding and bc bueller farms please let me know your thoughts i think it's a pretty cool map I really do like it but if you have enjoyed the map tour and you've stayed with me this long thank you so much and please hit that like button if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and don't forget to smash the bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine i've been farm sim snowy stay frosty